Hi, my name is Bob Taylor. I'm your host for today's segment of Our Ventura TV. I'm here today with my guest, Tammy Glenn. Tammy's going to talk to us about caregiving. Tammy, what's the name of your organization? We are Caregivers, Volunteers Assisting the Elderly. All right, so that's the, the whole name of it. That's Caregivers, the Volunteer whole Assisting. Name. All right, so where does that start? That encompasses so much, and it's such a personal thing for us, the baby boomers, um, and it's getting more and more personal. So where do you start with your group? Well, our, our group is about neighborly deeds. So um, the hallmark of our program is really matching a volunteer from the community with a homebound senior. Uh, and our volunteers donate about two to four hours a week in neighborly deeds. And so if you think neighborly deeds, the type of thing that you would lend a helping hand to a neighbor um, helping a meal, uh, running to the grocery store, maybe giving them a ride to the pharmacy or the doctor, that's the kind of thing that our volunteers do. Okay, so it's, um, okay, so if somebody's, shall we say, homebound, um, they could get a volunteer to come over Thursdays and take them out grocery shopping yeah, or something it's, like that. Yeah, you know, that. it's very, um, it's, once we introduce a volunteer and a senior and we have a match that works, uh, they kind of work it out on their own. So yeah, it could be, could be Thursdays, it could be Sundays, it could be. And so you have mostly volunteers, they're almost all volunteers. We are all volunteer. Um, and you're a paid position, right? I mean, somebody's got to run the show. You can't, you don't do it part time. Now we've got foreign, foreign, the equivalent of uh, four and a quarter paid staff in the office. Okay. So we're, we run pretty lean. Um, okay. There are three full time uh, and two part time staff. And what then kind of coordinators we have, coordinating yeah. everybody? And then we have close to 400 volunteers wow. out in Ventura County right now that are that are working in some capacity to help seniors. So do you work directly with the families or do you work through hospice groups or, or those kind of things? You know, or? most of the time we actually work directly with seniors. In fact, we prefer to. We prefer that our seniors call and say, hey, I need a helping hand. Uh, and, and then we work directly with them. You know, we're, we're all about empowering a senior to live independently in their home till end of life. Okay, now if, if, if a senior calls you and has you come over and you get into a situation where you're helping them and then you see where that that just really isn't enough and the senior is taking on more than they should trying to stay home more things just aren't right mm -hmm. do you how do you handle that kind of thing do you report it you can't just keep sending more volunteers <laughs> no uh, you know i wish we i wish we could but you know we never have enough volunteers um it really the the, the the way we approach this, we always get to know um, who's in our program, whether it's the volunteer or the senior. And so we start off with an hour and a half long interview in the senior's home, and we really get to know them. We make sure that they're gonna be a good fit for what we can offer. And, um, and then we take a good look at what their needs are. And everybody's needs are so different. You know, everyone has their, right. their own uh, set of, um, Limitations. Circumstances, right. limitations, well, whatever that is. And um, fortunately, I think we live in a wonderful area, so we have about 140 partner programs around the county that we work with regularly to meet the needs of, of the folks who call upon us for help. And that could be nutrition, it could be um, legal help, um, oftentimes it's transportation, um, could be mental health issues. Um, you name it, there, there are a ton of wonderful nonprofits that offer an array of services that Caregivers does not offer. And so by working with them, we're able to fill the gaps. And so, I, you know, I always describe it kind of like a puzzle. Um, we, we put the pieces of the puzzle together to try and, oh, and make that, the whole picture. That, that answers an awful lot of questions. When you're talking about legal or transportation or that kind of thing, every one of your volunteers can't be trained for every everything that could happen. And remember, they're they're a good neighbor. They're lending a couple hours a week. So, you know, for us to be able to go to other partner programs that specialize in in certain aspects of of uh, a person's needs, that's a, that's a nice thing to be able to do. Now, do do you do you discuss um, do you discuss the program or what's happening with the individuals? You know, because. Um, and the reason I think that is because I know people that deliver Meals on Wheels, mm -hmm. and they go to certain, some places where the only person they see all day long is that person delivering the meal, and they really want that person to come in and talk. 
and these, these care, caregivers, I guess, delivering meals, will quite often report to the, back to the healthcare district that, you know, this person does need more help than just us delivering, or, you know, there is some things going on at the house that need help, because the seniors just can't take care of themselves, a lot of them, and don't want to tell you that, hey, I can't get to the bathroom anymore, or I can't clean my kitchen. Um, and it embarrasses them. Yeah. So how do you keep well, up with that? So you, you've <laughs> you mentioned a whole bunch of things in, in, uh, in that statement, um, not the least of which is, is a privacy. So yeah, one thing true. that, that um, you know, I, I want to make sure people understand is that uh, when a senior enrolls at caregivers, there's a, a level of uh, privacy and respect uh, when we bring them into the caregiver's family. Um, and they have a right to their privacy. So oftentimes the family members of the seniors that we work with may not necessarily know that we're working with them. Um, oh, you yeah. know, and you really can't take it upon yourselves to call the family and say, no, we, your mother needs a lot of help. Or we your would only do that in the case of an emergency. Um, and then we, you know, we always keep an emergency contact on file. Um, so that's one part of what you said uh, in terms of, of uh, you know, do we report back? Um, you know, even if we're trying to work with another uh, nonprofit partner in uh, the county, we are working with our senior, you know, out of respect for them, and we usually make the suggestion that they contact the partner program. You know, if there's a more severe set of circumstances where we feel it's an emergency, then then that's where we might call in. Um, you know, more of our, our power friends at uh, Adult Protective Services or in-home support services or something like that to offer greater support. But, you know, we really try to work with people one-on-one. -on -one. And, you know, I, I was uh, looking at, at some of the folks in the program recently where we're putting the, the uh, newsletter together and Gee, you know, people have enrolled with us. They're with us for 14 years, 20 wow. years, and th that's a long time. And to me, that's a that's a relationship. They have a relationship with an organization, but there are people, you know, that are at caregivers, and we're. I like to think that we're a very caring group of people. Well, yeah, um, caregivers, just by nature just of the business, nature, right? Right. <laughs> So we, you know, we take a lot of we take a lot of pride in making sure that that um, we develop good relationships with the people that we're serving because there's a high level of trust there, um, and you, and you're right when people uh, are going through you know an aging process and you're getting older and and sometimes um, we do have needs that develop with toileting and bathing and that's where volunteer caregiving may not be the best fit. That doesn't mean that we dismiss anyone from our program, but we start really looking at other resources in our community that are going to, that are going to be a better response for that person's needs. And, and there, there are an array of them available in the county, thank goodness. So you do everything from quote-unquote adult sitting all the way up to getting other groups to take care of um, more professional needs at home, like you said, the legal thing or um, the bathroom issues or shower issues, that kind of thing. Yeah, those are going to fall outside of the scope of volunteer caregiving. Right. And when we say adult sitting, you know, we really match friends. Um, well, that's kind of what yeah, I meant. You, yeah. you try to get a friend for that adult. And, and so it could be, you know, that your volunteer caregiver, in fact, it's, it's funny when I've been out and about and I see, you know, our, our uh, volunteers and our seniors together, some of them have just become such good friends over the years, they forget the fact that, that you know, caregivers was involved in the introduction. We're kind of like, you know, the, uh, the matchmaker service that, that, uh, for seniors and volunteers. That gives me goosebumps just hearing those things. So, I mean, that's terrific. When we do it well, you know, it, it really works out great. And, um, and we've got some terrific success stories that we can talk about. Um, but, and, 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 you know, and in that, we have to remind our seniors that, hey, yeah, they are a good friend, and, and they probably are, are, you know, over the years lending more than two to four hours a week of support, but we do have to remind them they are a volunteer. Right. So um, if the needs are going beyond that, and, and oftentimes they do, then, you know, we have to start looking for other um, support services. So do you work, um, you know, I do know 211, mm -hmm. uh, United Way stuff, so you get involved with 
the nonprofits that way? So 211 is another wonderful resource in uh, the Ventura County community. Um, you know, we, we've, over the years, Caregivers has been around since 1964. Wow, so, a long time. So um, we've been at this for a little while. We're one of the original pilot programs for this in the country. And uh, this model spawned, I don't know, there's 500, 600 of these in various stages of growth from, uh, you know, the East Coast to the West Coast uh, and Hawaii. Um, wow. Hawaii has one of the original pilot programs as well. So, um, you know, when you have that kind of history working uh, in the community, there um, you kind of get into a rhythm of, of how you help people and, and you know where to go to look for help. And, and so that's where we become a good resource. And, you know, it's oftentimes people will call in and they aren't a good fit for our program, but we, we have a, a commitment that we don't turn anyone away when they give us a call. So. Um, we're notorious for putting these care packages together and all that material that we pick up at senior fairs and from our, our partner programs. Right. Um, we'll tailor the package uh, with brochures and things so that people have other resources to call. We try not to send you on a wild goose chase. Um, we, we really try to, well, in fact, I think I sent you a package right, recently right. too, so. Hey, you know, I'm, I'm one of those kind of in the, in the middle kind of people. Um, but groups like yours are just so necessary out there for, for everything that happens for everybody now. And it's, when I, 20 years ago, if I'd have thought the word caregiver, I'd have, I, I'm a little bit of a volunteer. I delivered meals and that kind of thing and felt great are. about doing that kind of thing. Now I think caregiving and I think help, yeah. you know, um, because my, my mother's aging, as you know, and all of us, well, all of us, the baby boomer age anyway, are looking at ways we can help or things we're gonna help or th situations, I'm not gonna say we're stuck in, but situations where we're going to be counted on by our parents, right. that kind of thing. Right. Well, you know, and everyone ages differently. Um, we we accept seniors at the age of 60 and above. But quite frankly, I, we have volunteers that are in their 90s. Uh, I have one Aww. volunteer who I, I, I'm pretty sure he's in his 90s, rides his bike to the office, uh, locks it up out front, and he's helping, is he helping a 101-year-old oh. in our community? Oh, what a great, so, what a great and, story. And I gotta tell you, this, this volunteer is in better shape than I am. I don't think I could ride my bike to the office. So. No, I, I, whether I could or not, it's not gonna happen. Believe it or not, we're running out of time. Already? Already. Oh I my mean, goodness, it, well thank now, you. If, if somebody wants to get a hold of you to help, you, you're, are you state funded or federal funded? We are privately funded. You're totally privately we are, funded. We receive a little bit of funding from the city of Ventura and the city of Oxnard. I'm very grateful for that. Thank you, Other Ventura than and that, Oxnard. I have to thank all of our private um, individual donors. We have uh, some corporate donors that have really been coming to uh, coming to uh, help us out and a lot of private funder private foundations over the years that so have how do people us. find you on the website, well, phone give number, us a call do? that's the best way to, to do it um, you can call us at 805-658-8530 uh, we've got a tiny little staff you might even talk to me if you call up I pick up the phone frequently um, or you can check out our website. Our website is www.vc, like Ventura County, caregivers with an S, dot O-R-G. Uh, and uh, we'd, love to, we'd love to help out. So you, actually, you're really pretty easy to find, whether you're calling so. 211 or Ventura County Caregivers or anything. Well, I'm sure if you call one of our partner programs, they're going to refer you over you know, to us if they, if they think we can help. And, was, and it, likewise, it, for them. It was them. just a friend of mine that said, Get a hold of Tammy. Oh, you know, nice. you knew it ain't her. It was Darren Parent. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for being here, thank Tammy. Thank you so much for having me. It's really a pleasure to meet you. Good to meet you too. Well, it's a big thank you to um, you know Tammy Glenn talking about caregivers of Ventura County. My name is Bob Taylor. I've been your host for this segment of Our Ventura TV. Until next time, thank you for being here. <laughs>